Hi guys, I am at the airport and I am headed to Udaipur for my annual trip to Srinagji and we go there every single year. I don't even remember the last time I actually spent my Diwali in Bombay and I'm with my entire family. <laughs> now my cousins and yeah, come along with me. I just landed in Udaipur and now we have to take the car to Srinagji which is going to take approximately two to two and a half hours. I just woke up. It is 5.30 in the morning and we are going to the temple for the first session. So I'm just back from the temple and now I'm probably gonna work out because I haven't done that in a while. And after that, I have to go back to the temple at 7.30. So it's 8.30 in the morning and I feel like I've accomplished so much already. I went to the temple twice, I finished my workout and now I'm gonna go shower and then I have to edit my video which had to go up last week but I just never got the time to do it. But it's Diwali decor and it's already too late because Diwali is tomorrow. Next time that we have to go to the temple it's around 11, 11.30. But I will tell you more about why we go to the temple multiple times in a day and how there are time slots and stuff but i need to go now and i will get back to you in some time i went to the temple one more time at 11 30 and then we ate and now we're just heading to this park at new cottage and they have this garden with swings and stuff so i'm going with my cousins we're just gonna play some kind of games but let's see so i wanted to tell you about why we go to the temple so many times in a day so basically we go to the temple at least eight times a day so first time is when he wakes up in the morning so that's like 5 30 in the morning next one is after he's done getting ready he goes out to play then it's shringar that's when he gets ready then it's rajbhog is when he has lunch um, Uthapan is when he wakes up from his afternoon nap. And then, you guys should floss now. Floss, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, I don't want to One, two, put me down. This hurts. Oh my god. the park again to play throw ball. Out! Yeah, no! <laughs> <laughs> It's day two and it's Diwali, so happy Diwali. So I'm just gonna light a few diyas and tell you more about my day. As I was mentioning about the eight darshans yesterday, so basically we go to the temple eight times a day. But since today is Diwali, we are not allowed to go inside. Most of the darshans will happen internally and it's not open to the public. But there is this one major darshan that happens at night and it's called the Annakut. But basically what happens is there is this tribal population called the Bheels and they come in to steal the rice, dal and all the food which is offered to God. 
and they come in to steal it as part of their tradition and it means a lot to them and for some of them it's just good luck most of them use this, use it for medicinal purposes yeah that's what's happening tonight and throughout the day we don't really have anything to do we're just going to be chilling and playing cards so after last night's Ankur Darshan, we came back around 1.30ish and it was exhausting because like you saw, it's pretty crowded and it's to the point where you can't even breathe. So yeah. Oh, and today is a new year based on the Hindu calendar. So happy new year for those of you who do celebrate this. And now we're just gonna go to the market area to shop. And the market is not that big and you you'll barely get anything. <laughs> like you'll get like fabrics and um, kurtis and mukwas and masala and some fried food and that's it. So I just came back from the market and now we're gonna go outside to see the cows so basically Govardhan Puja is happening today and that happens inside the mandir and that's where they worship the cow and then there's this big aarti and puja and stuff but outside there are a bunch of cows um, that are brought into Srinaji to play and these cows are painted and stuff and um, there's sand all throughout Srinaji so even when they're running around none of them get hurt but I've seen this last year and personally I think it's pretty torturous, it's pretty irritating for them and that's my personal opinion but uh, you can decide for yourself. about the cow fight let me know your comments and questions and feedback in the comment section below but yeah it was pretty dirty and it was just dusty because of all the sand and I was coughing and sneezing throughout but this is how I spend my Diwali every single year it's one of the best times because I have my entire family all in one place where no one has to worry about work or school or cooking or anything and all my cousins, aunts, uncles, all of us end up staying at the same hotel and we end up in the same rooms year after year and I feel super grateful for the fact that I could spend my Diwali in Srinaji with my entire family and this might just be my last year but I have this vlog to watch every single time and I thank you for watching it but now it's time to go back to Bombay so bye